Praise the Lord, Global Christian Friends. <clears throat> this is Bishop Young again. And truly, we thank God for you. And we are back. And we thank and praise Him for returning us to you, wherever you may be around the world. <clears throat> Last time we had said that we would give you the scriptures where blood uh, atones for the soul. <clears throat> and as God uh, would have it, I'm here to find that place and give it to you as it was said. In Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11, and <clears throat> when we get over into Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11, uh, this is what we read. It says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood. And God said, I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that make an atonement for the soul. We had said that we would give it to you, and God had blessed us so that we could give it to you, and uh, there we have it. We looked at the last time in the 19th chapter of Revelation about <clears throat> the Word of God. And uh, in that 14th verse, we said that the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in white linen, white and clean. And uh, you can get into a great long discussion about that in terms of the scriptures. Now, out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword. And uh, we know that some use the expression that when he turned to the north, the edges are the east and the west. And when he turns to the east and the west, the edges are the north and the south. And he smite the nations, and he rules them with a rod of iron, and uh, he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Now, having that privilege, this is Revelation chapter 19, verse 15. Having the privilege to tread the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Now, think about that statement. We have seen the division of three voices with one praise. Uh, the voice of a great multitude, the voice of mighty waters, and the voice of mighty thunders, <clears throat> mighty thunder rings, and how they come away with the one praise of God 
saying, The Lord God omnipotent reign. And other gods out there across the world, well, as we often say, Jesus said, All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. And that's what they are, and that's what they were. They cannot save you. They cannot deliver you. They cannot set you free. And we thank and praise the Lord. Because we know the one and only true God. And we see here that he who sits on that white horse has the authority and the privilege to be able to tread the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Now, think about that statement out there. You who trust in other gods and believe other gods, Here we see the works that are being done, and they are works that are not being hidden, but they are works that are showing themselves to be mighty. And one thing you know about the living God, uh, he never has to hide himself, nor his works. And he let that be known when he created the whole creation. What did he do? He showed everything by putting sun, moon, and stars in the sky so that they may be able to be seen. And uh, you can look at that statement, as we said before, from Romans 1 and 20. Because there, it said the things that are invisible are seen through the things that are made. And uh, he is the one true God. Uh, and we are going to get further and further over into this treading the fierceness of the winepress of Lord God uh, Almighty. God bless you, global Christian friends. This is Bishop. Until the next time. Mm -hmm.